Now that we have power back, welcome to the Stormworks Christmas Special. I'll be your narrator tonight through some old Christmas stories involving a young lad named Stormrunner. He had a great year, you know, decorating and upgrading this small base with plenty of things and a fireplace? That's not the spot I would have put it. That huge ugly thing is blocking everything in this sub- Let's not get off track here. Tonight, as the flurries start to fall, we have a few stories about this Stormrunner fellow. Our first story starts- Pardon me, Mr. Um, narrator said your name is. How did you get in here? The door is wide open. That's probably why the heat bills through the roof. Let's just close that down. It's a little bit weird you know so much about me, but we'll just jump right past that into our first Christmas story tonight about the old company truck that we had dressed up for Christmas. And that old build and rescue truck had been in the fleet for a long time now, and every winter we loved to dress it up with different Christmas decoration pieces. And this year was no exception. We put the works on it with antler ears on the mirrors around it, and a really nice paint job, as well as a couple of strands of lights around the back end of the truck here. So we all hopped in, started up the engine, and it roared to life, thankfully, this time. We've had a couple problems with the truck's engine in the past, but as we went out to sing some Christmas carols to a town close to us, we went up and I parked the truck right next to the river out here, and we all thought it would be pretty fine, but... Honestly, I'm surprised this truck even drives. It's a big rust bucket that we all hate and just don't like in general. As Storm so rudely said, the men and women of this little rescue company went out one night, taking their Christmas-themed truck with them. Little to their knowledge, the truck would disappear when they came back to get it because, uh... Could you stop telling my story for two seconds here? Anyways, we had parked it there, and the parking brake failed, sending it almost over that edge there into the river that night. That night, we almost did lose that truck there, but for some reason, we were able to save it there. And it is still with us, and uh, oh look, somebody's turned on the Christmas lights for it. Um, sadly, the engine did break on it. I think it actually exploded now, so I don't know. I think it's going to be a big anchor for now on, but... After that truck, we should move on to the sighting we saw here. You guys might be very excited to hear. We actually saw the big jolly man himself here. You know, the guy that drops off the presents? We have to look at that. That night, we were out doing a little bit of work around the workshop here on our build and rescue island, and we saw a peculiar sight out in the distance. Was it really him stopping somewhere? Now Stormrunner may be some sort of ninja to pull a feat off like this. Catching the big jolly man taking off that night was a once in a lifetime occurrence. The takeoff did not seem too graceful, but Santa's always in a big hurry this time of year. That blunder with Santa trying to take off wasn't even as close as a mess up as what we had with trying to light our Christmas tree here at our base. Tree lightings around the rescue base usually went off without a hitch. One button to click and the entire area was illuminated by the wonderment around the tree. This year, however... Alright, enough of that narrator guy. Let's just get to the story here. So when we went to light the tree, one misclick of a button. Lights did come on, but a couple seconds later... We had a flying Christmas tree. And the practical jokester of the build and rescue group here enacted his big joke of the year. And although all these stories of Christmas time around the base are great, one of the best traditions we've set forth here is our annual Christmas party here with friends and family alike coming together to celebrate the holidays. And uh, Jeff is here. And as the water rushed over this failed attempt of a Christmas party, I want to talk to you about supporting your local storm runner. Have you subscribed yet? Hit that bell as well? Did you hit that like button, Not man? Not right now, Mr. Narrator. Come on, I'm gonna have to figure this out now. During the holidays, too. Somebody spawned in the tsunami. Somebody that works here. And I'm gonna have to get down to the bottom of this right now. Whoever it is, they're getting fired. No Christmas bonus. No work after the New Year's. All right, then. You can do your own narration from now on. I quit. It was the narrator. I would have never guessed that. In a thousand years, that would have been my last guess. Maybe it's just like the butler, but... I know I did cut him off there once or twice, maybe he's mad about that. 
So that is where I am going to be ending this Christmas special today in Stormworks. It stinks that the narrator did get us yet again with the tsunami in the Christmas party, but maybe in the future we will enact our revenge on him. I would like to send a belated Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays out to everyone. I do apologize that this did come out a day or two late. But anyways, of course, going to the future, I would like to send a Happy New Year to everyone out there as well. So of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stoneworks and more of my content. But I've never been good. Goodbye, so people will need me and I need to go.